Welcome to the SER Fire Alarm System Test 19. I've got some interesting devices up today and we're gonna jump right in. Here we go. As you can see, the System Sensor Spectre Alert Classic is being coded to Code 3 and it's non-silenceable. So even when I silence the fire alarm control panel, the alarm does not silence for this one. Over here, we have my Pyrotronics BDC-624 Bell, and that is mounted on my Simplex strobe plate. And as you saw and heard earlier, the bell is coded to Code 3 and the strobe is coded to Continuous Non-Silenceable, so it always flashes. And then going down, we have the STI fire push station. We haven't been up in the attic in a long time, have we? You might have not known I had a device in the attic of this garage, but I do. It is a Kitty KIR-HD addressable heat detector. Perfect for the attic. And we're going to go ahead and test it today with this hair dryer, which makes heat. Let's do it. The fire alarm system is back in normal condition. It's good to know that that heat detector up there is working just fine. If you haven't seen the video where I go and install this entire fire alarm system in this garage, definitely go check that out if you're new and you haven't seen that. I think that's a great video and you'll learn a lot more about this system. It's a really quick video too. Uh oh. Pre-alarm. So I do have a pre-alarm feature set up in the attic just because it gets so hot up there in the summer. So it's already pretty hot up there because it's a hot day. So it pre-alarms and then if it goes into alarm two times in a row, then it will set off all the bells and whistles. So hopefully that doesn't go off again. <laughs> Alright everyone, go check out that other video that I was t telling you about where I install this entire fire alarm system, wire it in and all. 
And uh, thank you for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day, everyone.